Welcome back to another one of my cooking lessons, friend. We're learning how to make brown rice today, specifically three different ways to cook it. And you'll pick which one you're gonna use depending on the timing of your cooking schedule and your, your planning of your meals and, and getting those cooked in the afternoon. Also, depending on which type of device that you have, we're gonna learn how to cook on the stovetop, in the oven and in the Instant Pot. I'm gonna share all the nuances with you, including the liquid to brown rice ratios. So be sure to watch the whole video so you can get all of the information you need to be successful with cooking brown rice in your kitchen. I love using brown rice in my kitchen because not only is it affordable, it is also a whole grain. Of course, white rice cooks faster and makes just a fantastic sort of starchy side dish, if you will. We have all the nitty gritty of cooking a white rice in the previous video. You should be able to see that here on the playlist or on the channel. Brown rice is generally nuttier in flavor because of the way that it holds on to the germ and the bran in the kernel. It does cook a little bit differently, so I'm gonna walk you through the nuances of that as well as the specifics of cooking the brown rice in these three different ways. One way to cook brown rice is to bake it. And this is maybe my favorite hands-off way to do brown rice. You just put everything in here, put it in the oven. It's very simple. It's not as fast, although it's once you get it in the oven, it's ready to go as soon as it is finished baking. So the first thing that we're gonna do is get out a nine by 13 and we're gonna add one and a half cups of brown rice kernels straight into the dish. There's enough liquid in here, we don't need to grease the dish. So we're gonna do one and a half cups of brown rice. And the liquid to rice ratio for baking brown rice is two and a quarter cups. We'll just pour the water. You could do chicken stock or vegetable stock, but I'm just gonna use a water directly into the dish. The rice will float. So all you need to do is take your spatula or something flat, even a knife or the back of a spoon, and just press the rice kernels into the water. Once we have all of those rice kernels underwater, we're going to tightly wrap this dish with foil. So just really tight. We don't want any steam escaping in there. We want all of that liquid to be soaked up by the rice. So I'm gonna do like an initial Seal. And then I'm gonna just do another, like I want this like as attached to the glass dish as possible. And I usually will try and wrap the edges around the handles a little tighter even than that. So we have our baking dish with the brown rice, the water tightly sealed with foil. We are going to bake this at 350 degrees for one hour. If you need a little less rice than that, I typically do this much for my family of six. If you need less rice, I would use an eight by eight and I would do one cup of brown rice, two and a quarter cups of liquid. Same thing, get all the kernels underwater, tightly wrap it in foil and bake for an hour. Next is cooking brown rice on the stovetop. I would recommend using a heavier stock pot like a Dutch oven, just because it's going to be cooking on your stovetop for a long time. You want something with a tight, heavy lid to prevent steam from escaping. If you don't have that, maybe you have like a stainless stock pot, you might wanna add a little bit more water because some of it will escape out the sides. But when we're making brown rice on the stovetop, the ratio is a little bit different from when we're baking in the oven. Baking in the oven was one cup of rice to two and a quarter cups of liquid. In this case, it's one cup of the brown rice with two and a half cups of liquid. And again, if you're using a lighter weight uh, stock pot or pot, you might wanna make that two and three quarter cups just because some of that steam is going to escape while it is cooking on the stove top. So the first thing we're gonna do is gonna get two and a half cups of water boiling and I am gonna add a touch of salt. Just a hefty pinchful there. And we're gonna bring this to a boil and then add our cup of brown rice in just a minute. I'm going to pour in the cup, give it a good stir, make sure it's all under water, and then put that heavy lid on. I'm gonna reduce the heat to medium and let it cook for 45 to 50 minutes. Third 
option is cooking brown rice in your instant pot. This one is very similar to the oven in the sense that it's very hands off. Once you get it going, you can just come back and it's cooked. It's probably the fastest of the cooking times. It's a little bit of time to come to pressure, plus anywhere between 20 and 22 minutes to cook the brown rice. So it is the fastest option and we're going to get to it now. First, we do need to rinse the brown rice before putting it into the Instant Pot. It's not quite as starchy as white rice, but I always rinse it just to be careful. We're going to drop that right into the insert. This is very similar to the white rice cooking method. If you haven't seen that, you can go check out that video here on the channel as well. This is a one to one ratio. Literally zero steam is gonna escape from this. The rice is going to pull in all of that liquid in the Instant Pot. So you can add a little salt, a little pepper. You could do chicken stock, beef stock, vegetable stock. Generally just do plain water. Sometimes when it's finished, I'll add a little butter if I wanna get a little creaminess to it. We're just going to put that right in. Put the lid on and we're going to do high pressure for 22 minutes. I generally cook it between 20 and 22 minutes. We're just going to do 22 minutes for this batch. So here we have our three ways to cook brown rice. It's really up to you to decide which way is best depending on which cookware you have and the timing and your cooking schedule and whether you can start the brown rice and then cook your meal in, you know, cooking it in the oven, then cook your meal or uh, however you want to do it. You've got these three options now. Let me do a quick recap for you. When cooking the brown rice on the stove top, we are going to do one cup of brown rice to two and a half cups of liquid. We're going to bring the liquid to boiling. Once it's boiling with the rice in there, we'll reduce the heat to a simmer and cook for 50, five zero minutes on the stove top. Again, I recommend a tight, heavy lid, um, a Dutch oven type of a, or a stock pot with a heavy lid. When you're doing the brown rice in the oven, we're gonna bake at 350 for one hour, and the ratio for the brown rice is one cup of brown rice to two and a quarter cups of liquid. In the case of a nine by 13, I would recommend doing a cup and a half of brown rice. If you need a little less than that, you could do in an eight by eight baking dish, uh, one cup of brown rice. And again, tightly fitting foil to keep all of that steam inside so that the brown rice cooks to perfection. Last is the Instant Pot. We are going to cook one to one ratio. So one cup of brown rice, one cup of liquid. We're going to cook that on high pressure mode for 22 minutes. So if you learn something new here, I probably have some other new cooking hacks and tips to share with you in our other videos. We are working our way through grains this month. We've also talked about eggs and pasta in the past. So be sure to check out some of the other videos that we have in our Learn to Cook with Erin series here on the channel. And please like and subscribe to the channel so you'll get notified when we release future episodes. We generally release them on Wednesdays at noon central time so you can get a quick dose of cooking lessons 